Hi, I'm here with Matt Collier, good friend, and uh, the moderator, uh, originator, whatever we want to say, of blog chat. And so, wanted to ask Mac here at South by Southwest, you know, does everyone need a blog? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of it depends on, well, what you're familiar with. I mean, mm -hmm. if you, I think a blog's a great tool for you, especially to build your awareness, but I don't think you need to be thinking that you absolutely have to have one. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're, because we've only got so much time, mm -hmm. and I mean, if you're, love Twitter, maybe you should be on Twitter, or maybe you should be on LinkedIn, or whatever, but um, don't don't think that you absolutely have to have one, I mean, it's, there's so much about social media that there's not a one size fits all, and you'll read a lot of posts saying you have to do this, this, and this, and your post link has to be that, that, or that, you need to figure out what works for you, um, take all those posts and those ideas and that advice as being like a guideline, don't think this is not the way I absolutely have to do it, if you want to have a blog, if you think you can do it, fine, but... If you don't, I mean, don't don't feel like you need to force it. Great, great. And uh, so, if someone thinks they want to blog, but they don't know if they're ready or not, you know, what advice would you have for them? Um, well, they could, if they're really, really self-conscious about it. I mean, mm -hmm. you could start your own private blog and just start mm -hmm. doing it because a lot of people they don't they don't feel comfortable enough in their own writing ability. Mm -hmm. And that is that's something you'll pick up as you go along, or at least I did. I mean, you'll start to develop root voice, you'll start to gain your flow, etc. Um, and it'll, it'll just kind of come to you. You'll, you'll kind of have an idea of, yeah, I've got, because I think you, we all have to get over that hurdle that people actually are going to care about what we say, because I think a lot of us, we, especially when we start out, I mean, it's tough because you think, like, nobody's going to want to read this. Nobody's going to care what I have to say, but a lot of people do, and I think we kind of sell ourselves short sometimes. We think we don't realize that people do want to hear what we have to say, so just... Try it, throw it out there, and if you don't feel comfortable doing it on like your own professional blog, you can start your own private blog or whatever, and just try it for a while. And one thing I would add is, if you're thinking about like how often should I update it, mm -hmm. try to go. Let's say, for example, you think, well, I need to do it like three times a week because that's what all the experts say. Maybe try and scale that back to like twice a month, and mm -hmm. then that way you can always bump it up to once a week. Or try. Well, it's so much easier to bump up your schedule than it is to take on too ambitious of one, and then you've got to scale it back and that's where that that's harder to do I think than scale yeah. it up. Well, thank you so much. That's all excellent advice um, from someone who certainly knows. You've been blogging for how long? Since 2005. Yeah, the Viral Garden and now at mattcollier.com mm -hmm. also. All right, thanks so much, Mac. Thank you, Kelly.